Good morning from Tenerife. It's about quarter past seven. And I need to take a left turn. It's about quarter past seven and I'm on the road. Big one today, about 100 miles, 160K, about 4,000 meters of climbing. Potentially, potentially I'm gonna say that today might be the last one that I ride. Just running out of time, a bit of steam. And uh, yeah, I might not do La Gour Gour Gourmia, just, just on the basis of I'm running out of time. But equally, if that's the case, that's absolutely fine. So I'm on the first climb, it's like 14 and a half K, thousand meters. Straight out from the town pretty much, like ride along for like, I don't know, five, six K. You ride along for about five or six K before you start climbing and then you straight up the whole elevation for the day looks like this it's massive so yeah I think today might be my last day riding and um, my goal really with this was always to get to Tenerife and ride Tenerife and then probably have a few days here just riding still as I've always said like from the start of this event it's freaking January I mean it is the last day of January today, but it's still January. I've got quite a busy February, quite a bit of travel. I just don't want to burn myself out. And I think one more island with what looks like very sketchy winds might be a little bit too much of a risk. So I'm thinking I'm going to get to Tenerife, get to the port, and then just do some like shorter rides there. Before I have to fly back on Saturday and yeah I mean I'm buzzing this has been the perfect thing to kind of kick the year off really I guess what I'm trying to say is that if you have a goal stick to it my goal with this was take it easy enjoy every island in the daytime and just basically have fun get good kilometers in for the start of the year it wasn't to absolutely smash it up it wasn't to try and do it in like two days or something it was just about taking it chill building up the base and ready for things later this year I think one of the things I've learned as I've got older is that I probably only have a maximum of three times a year where I can go nuts and do something really really hard because it just wipes me for quite a long time and then I feel get, start feeling really depressed and then I end up starting to feel really depressed about it and it's not good for my head as well as it's not good for my body so you know like the I always think about the Everest that was 2022 it's two years ago coming up for now two years in May I think that took six to eight months to get over properly physically and emotionally and I could probably do something like that once every couple of years because they are harder because a lot of the charity challenges to be honest are harder than any ultra I've ever done but with this I wasn't even certain I was going to come so to have got so far three really good days riding I'm buzzing super pleased if I get today done, amazing. And then that'll give me a day in Tenerife where I could just sharpen up a couple of hard little efforts, up a climb, fly home. Nearly at the top, 2.2K to go. <sighs> Big start to the day, 14 and a half K with a thousand meters. Pretty much from leaving where I was staying is Definitely a leg waker upper.
That's how it always goes. One heart's breaking while another one is mending. It's all in the ebb and flow. If I had to, I could go it alone, but I don't ever need to because I have a home somewhere to run to. I could live alone in the woods, not a single sound, but I would never feel alone because you've become my home. Shattered to the ground, these walls could fall right down. The lights could open now, because this house is not my home. Crumble into dust. I don't need that much. I don't need to roam, because you've become my home. One step forward. Follows one step backwards. That's what it takes to grow. One life left is another that's just starting, and that's just the way it goes. Just rolled into a very, very beautiful little town, La Laguna, I think it's called. Just sort of navigating through here. I might get some food, but to be honest, I'm quite content unless I see like a supermarket where I can just grab and go. Quite content riding along. Um, yeah, 40k in now, I think. It's good. <laughs> Found a lovely bakery and company. How are you feeling? Tired. Do you think that's their 5.30 start? No. <laughs> Might be something to do with the hills from yesterday. It's been hilly. Yesterday was hilly. Today is hilly. But we're filling up on... I don't really know what this is, but it's very nice. And um, little bocadillas and coffee. Got some more water. And then we got to climb to Taide, which is 30 odd K. Maybe more. <laughs> I've done it from the other side. I've done it from the other side. Yeah. The descent's amazing when you come oh, right down. Yeah. But it's so long that it gets boring. I'm start aching. Mm. <laughs> the descent that we've just done, they basically like drilled out a strip of the road and just shoved some concrete in it and it's wet towards the bottom. It's like it's fresh. Is it? Yeah. 54k. Basically 54k of climbing now. Woo -hoo! A little detour through the town there because of roadworks. We were made aware of it before the event started. But yeah, I'm on the climb now to Taide. 30k to go just over. 1,612 meters. It's gonna be a long slog. Probably a couple of hours to be honest. Refueling liquid wise because the climb started fun little shop so I thought I'd just pop in and fill up the water bottles but I still have that amount to drink the bike is in the gear that it's probably going to be in now for quite a long time that's one and there was some bigger yeah big old climb 30k Less than 19k to go. Less than a thousand meters of climbing to go. Snickers morale stop and a wee wee stop. Little stretch. 
can we go again? It's been quite cool seeing a few pros. This area is so known for pros to come and train. Okay. There's a glider stuck in the tree, which is quite scary. But he seems okay. Get in there, managed to get hold of the emergency services for the parachute person. And there's some workers there. And they just told me to go on. They said they'd keep an eye on him. But yeah, had to ride up the road to get signal. But yeah, managed to get hold of them, which is good. Officially in the national park. They still got, I don't know, six k, six k or so to climb. But it's just otherworldly now. Just look, there's a sleeping giant. Just stop for a little coffee. Coffee stop. Coca-Cola and a donut. Eight and a half k climbing now. 300 meters, not as much meter wise, but yeah, one more big climb to go. The winds are a bit, a bit sketchy again, but I think a lot of that is because of how high we are. Oh, I'm cooked. Big day. <laughs> just stop for a second before kind of the descent because it's just insane. It's like being in space. Garmin climbs complete. So I'm on 453 TSS. Although it does tell me I have nine meters of elevation still, but 3,700 meters of climbing done. Downhill to the port. And then I'm done. Been a good, good few days.
down to Los Cristianos that's like the longest climb in the world followed by the, probably the longest descent in the world that's pretty epic though anyway heading to the port and then don't really know after that do you enjoy it? Oh man, that was probably one of the, or the nicest descent yeah, I've ever... Probably one of the best descents on planet. Yeah, I would say so. I mean, it, I, I forgot when it started. It must have been about four years ago. Like, yeah, so long. Is, and the tarmac was just pristine. The views, no cars. That was... Uh, I, knew yeah. the, I knew the top bit. I'd never done the lower bit before. Yeah. But I know the top bit a bit. So I normally stay in the other side. Hands. Hands. Yeah, freaking Ooh. amazing. It was... Insane. Nothing Red that like that you can do in the in uh, in the Alps. No. The Alps are much more steeper, and the tarmac is uh, most of the time in, uh, in the worst condition. Uh, yeah, and, and this was brand new. Yeah. That's not brand new. It's just it doesn't a weather badly. Okay. And it was amazing. I mean, and then 50k km all all the way. <laughs> it was just pretty pretty insane. Well done. Great I was day. thinking Great you, day. Catch you, you catch us earlier. Yeah, okay. You're right. All right. How was your day? <laughs> yeah, it was uh, oh. Hilly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we made it. Yeah, you did huh? good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have a uh, what's it called? Wahoo uh, element bolt. Yeah. And there's a big design fold in it because constantly it says in the middle. Oh, no.